There we go. So I just want to obviously treat that on top of there. And the front is not too bad, it's pretty tidy. Um, it just has a few little teasing like here, you know, a little bit of rust there and stuff like that. Just take this glass out, get some new screws in there, clean all inside of here. I've looked in there, that's fine. This is the grill area, again, just tidying up, you know, just making it smart so that it's presentable. Again, new screws and stuff in here. Take this glass out, give it a good clean inside. Cleaning the metal strips down. Hey. Talking to YouTube, babe. Clean all the rust off the metal strips so I can paint them with heat resistant paint. This is the other, which I've showed you before. So I'm going to take all that rust off and uh, take this further down. So I'm using a sander on an angle grinder, which will help to uh, get the crap off it prior to painting. That's what I did by hand, and it took me about 15 minutes, and that's for that. Tool for the job. They're ready for painting. Off the long end of it. Job rubbed down with sandpaper. Reason for the goggles is uh, I was wearing safety glasses last time I used the grinder and I got piece of metal that went in my eye even with safety glasses so I had to go to hospital to get it removed so now I wear full faced ones well you know, right over the top so that there's never any danger of getting anything in your eye right that's that's good enough to paint now Thank you. This oven cost me nothing. It was given to me. Well, I was given a free run at a caravan that had damp. So Strip the toilet out, the fridge out, and the cooker out, and what windows I thought I could use. A little bit of wiring. The rest of the stuff is really not much top. And then I'll tack that onto there. It's all nice and lightweight. And it'll give it that finish for when stuff goes in. I did, uh, when I was doing the oven, <coughs> I recorded um, 
the work I was doing to the restoration work. But unfortunately, when I switched the camera on, I forgot to press record. And I did all, did all the work and that's uh, another project. But, okay, the front of the oven now, I'll show you. All this here now, I've, re I've repainted it all now, so all that's come up. Um, all inside, all this is heat resistant paint to 650 degrees or something. It doesn't warrant it, but you can see how nice these look now, a lot better. So, they're a bit stiff, but there you go. So that's all tidy. I put I put these in the dishwasher and it brought them up lovely. Gave them a real good clean, you know. I'm just putting the driver's seat in now. This one I'm not having uh, spin round, even though it's a captain's seat. I won't bother. It's one of them, it's one of them. It's that one. Nice to start putting it all together as well actually. That handbrake hasn't been on for yonks so... Okay, quick recap. <clears throat> That's all built now. Fridge fits in nice. Cooker fits in there nice. So what I'm going to do, now that I've created a couple of little drawers, that's where the plates are going to go, that's where the cutlery will go, and then under storage here for pans and things like that. I'm now going to get some uh, uh, frontage onto it now, So uh, which I'm using tongue and groove, and then I'm going to varnish that up. And then just to give it a bit of contrast, I'm going to use that on the side. So you've got a contrast between the pine and that. So it's... So on a lighter note, I have emptied the van, swept it all out, and I'm ready to put down some nice flooring down here. Wonderful. This is kitchen floor area. I've tidied all this carpet up now. That's got the uh, underlay and the foam, you know, this stuff that I uh, fitted down to underneath so it's extra uh, soundproofing and padding. <clears throat> then I've cut the carpet neat here and I've started fitting the, uh, the floor in there, the oak effect floor, because this is going to be effect. You'll step out the bathroom or you'll be kitchen area so it needs to be somewhere where you know it can be wiped uh, or you can just have a you know a rug here or something like that so that's what I'm doing here so I'm just doing the fiddly bits now I've, I've done that and I'm just cutting the stuff around the wheel arches so that it can uh, fit in nice and tidy and obviously slot it in nice and straight and there we go and that's it. Okay, um, just showing you what I've done here. This is uh, tile paint. Um, it's a waterproof paint basically. Whatever it goes on to, it makes it waterproof. Um, so I've used it on the wheel arches only because basically I got it off a car boot. It was 40 pence. Uh, it was a branded, you know, proper all singing, all dancing, expensive paint. But on a car boot, I was paying pennies for it. And all it is is just a backup 
the wheel arch basically. So I've scrubbed it down, got rid of the rust spots and everything, treated them and then painted it over with a nice uh, waterproof paint. And on the other side where the shower area is going, I've just continued up a little bit um, because uh, I'm putting wet flooring down, you know, for this area, which is going to be the shower sort of thing. But all I've done is just an extra bit of paint just to put over. It's an extra bit of protection that I'm using. Right, this is how the seat was before, so when you lifted that lever up, it would only turn that way, so yeah. that you could exit the vehicle. Mm -hmm. and, and now, obviously it will come back, lock into place, and now I've taken that lug out, there you go, and it spins right round, look. So she can be used then for sitting at the back of the van. So, There's my missus agreeing in the background, trying to get back on YouTube again. She's going to have to have her own channel. She carries on. <laughs> <clears throat> so there you go, just taking that lug away. Gives you the full freedom of movement of that and it still locks into position. So it's all sorted. So that's another job job. If you have a look at the wheel arches, you can see how well they've come up now. Look at that. And it dries really smooth, really shiny as well. So that's nice and tidy. Um, all that's left now is I'm going to finish doing the frontage of my uh, cupboard. You know, the one with the, for the fridge and the uh, cooker and everything. And I'll just show you. Over there, I've been working on it there a lot. So, what I'm going to do now is um, varnish that up and fit the cupboard front so it's all ready. Um, 